Right now, live at 5, the deadline is nearing and the back and forth is continuing in Washington over President Biden's infrastructure bill. Plus, the new project hoping to bring affordable and stable housing to Duluth. And later, Costco is open for business in Duluth. And tonight, we're looking into the impact it could have on the local workforce. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. CBS 3 News, live at 5. Here's a live look from Washington, D.C. tonight, where after weeks of negotiations, President Biden unveiled a new framework for his Build Back Better social spending and climate bill. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Bakke. The House Rules Committee is already meeting to consider the proposals with Democratic leaders pushing to also move forward soon on the Senate-passed bipartisan infrastructure bill. But party progressives say they want to vote on both measures at the same time. Deborah Alferone has the latest from the White House. President Joe Biden has embarked on a multi-day trip to Europe to meet with world leaders. Before leaving, he huddled with House Democrats on Capitol Hill to push his revamped Build Back Better bill framework. This framework includes historic investments in our nation and in our people. The $1.75 trillion plan includes universal pre-K for all three and four-year-olds, an extension of the child tax credit, and a reduction in health plan premiums under the Affordable Care Act. But it leaves out proposals for paid family leave, free community college, and a tax on billionaires. No one got everything they wanted, including me. But that's what compromise is. The president's framework, which also includes a half trillion dollar investment in climate change initiatives, is expected to be paid for through taxes on the nation's wealthiest individuals and corporations. The text is there for you to review, for you to complain about, for you to add to, for separate from whatever it is, and we'll see what consensus uh, emerges from that. Progressives in the House say they will not vote on the president's trillion-dollar infrastructure bill until the spending plan is ready for a vote as well. We intend to vote for both bills when the Build Back Better Act is ready. We have the opportunity to really uplift and strengthen our economy. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris discussed the new Build Back Better framework during a roundtable with a bipartisan group of mayors. Deborah Alferone, CBS News, Washington. Some Democrats are also calling for a firm commitment that key Senate moderates Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema will vote yes on the final social spending measure. Senator Sinema released a statement saying, in part, we have made significant progress on the proposed budget reconciliation package. I look forward to getting this done. We now know the names of the victims in yesterday's home explosion. It happened just after 9.30 a.m. near Lake Vermilion. Today, authorities tell us 72-year-old Eva Gramsci was the one who died. Authorities believe they found her remains inside the home. Now, a medical examiner is conducting an autopsy to confirm that. Her husband, Michael Gramsci, was found in the yard with serious injuries. The 72-year-old was taken to the hospital where he is listed in serious condition. Authorities are still investigating what caused the explosion. With the winter coming, one event is making sure those in need are ready to endure the cold. The Damiano Center hosted a Community Connect event to assist individuals who are experiencing hardship. The event provided clothes, cooked food, haircuts, and even portable showers. All of the clothing items were donations from the public. St. Louis County Housing and Homeless Event Planner Stacy Radicevich says the event goes beyond providing just the basic needs. The other uh, things we provide here today are haircuts and warrant resolution and recovery services. And then we spread the word about the available rental assistance in our community. The event also provided flu shots and COVID vaccinations. The next event is expected to take place in January of 2022. Housing is hard to find in Duluth, let alone affordable housing. That struggle is even harder for people who have been previously incarcerated. CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo shares how a new project is hoping to change lives in our community by providing a safe place to stay. 
Family Rise Together aims to strengthen the bond between parents and kids. Now, Shaquana McIntyre, leader of the Duluth nonprofit, is taking on a new project. Besides providing housing, we want to provide stability. And so in partnership with St. Louis County, we became a long-term housing provider um, in our community to serve BIPOC fathers and men. The nonprofit plans to rent a house in Lincoln Park for men who were previously incarcerated, giving a safe space for up to five men at a time. So for those men who are reunifying and they need a safe space to be able to do supervised visits or visits with their children, this home will be the very first home where men will be able to bring their kids and actually have a, a space for them. Family Rise Together will get resident referrals from the county. They'll also offer career and mental health programming. If I can be very honest with you, my overall goal is to create more opportunities for other leaders to come alongside us to create and change the trajectory of the bipartisan community in Duluth and our surrounding communities. McIntyre hopes this safe place will bring change to the community one life at a time. The house still needs to be decorated and inspected before people can move in. McIntyre hopes that will happen by the end of November. She's looking for people to donate household items. If you'd like to help out, we have a link on our website. Peter joins us now for a quick check of the weather. Dave, uh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't been Dave here all week. Dave <laughs> is on vacation. <laughs> Peter, we are so happy to have you here with us. Oh, boy, it's almost Friday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. One day away. I need it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a little bit of rain out there yeah. today, but overall, not a bad day and there's improvements coming our way but first taking a look at some of the rain totals across the region and again most of that rain centered from the twin ports kind of west out towards Brainerd, Aiken, Big Fork up towards International Falls as well and that's where you see those increased rain totals anywhere from six tenths of an inch up to close to three quarters of an inch closer to the lake we really haven't seen all that much rainfall in the past 24 hours just a few one hundredths of an inch and additionally maybe even up to a tenth but there is still a little bit more rain to come our way through the night tonight and through the early portions of the day tomorrow. Temperatures also kind of rather cool today, climbing into the upper 40s as well as lower 50s. 49 on top of the hill to Luther International, 52 down by Lake, 50 in Superior, 46 in Orr, and 48 in International Falls for today's high. Silent radar shows that we spent a good majority of the afternoon dry, but we have some more rain showers filling in right now, especially during the Twin Ports, points west again. That's going to begin to wobble its way east through the night tonight. We'll see a pickup in additional rainfall for us here in the Twin Ports, as well as the Arrowhead region, as well as northwest Wisconsin and UP of Michigan. Currently coming in at 48 degrees right now with those mostly cloudy skies overhead. And our forecast for tonight shows that we are mainly cloudy, but there are a few more showers to come our way. We're clearing things out just in time for the weekend, it looks like, but much cooler weather heading our way. We'll take a closer look at it coming up in just a bit. Kristen? All right, thanks, Peter. Minnesotans have a new tool for learning about crime activity in the state. The BCA launched the Minnesota Crime Data Explorer today. It's a tool that allows users to filter and sort crime data. The program is being launched in phases. It currently includes data on firearm discharges, officer use of force, and more. The program is available on the BCA website. Minneapolis's police chief is urging voters to reject a ballot question that would seriously impact the department. Voters will decide on Tuesday whether to approve a new public safety unit that would replace the city's police department. The question proposes creating a more comprehensive public health approach to policing. Chief Madaria Arredondo believes the city is at a critical point of public safety and to drastically change the city charter with so many unknowns is not good for the 420,000 residents. As chief, though, here is what I can tell you ballot question number two will not do for you. It will not eliminate tragic incidents between police and community from ever occurring in our city. It will not reduce the disproportionate violent crime disparities involving African-American victims that has been a public health crisis in our city for decades. The idea of ballot question number two came after violent protests broke out following the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police. Still to come on Live at 5, Halloween Weekend is right around the corner. We'll tell you all about some excellent opportunities to get spooky in the Northland coming up in today's City by City. CBS 3 News is brought to you by Ralph Eye Care Specialists. 
Villa Marina Health and Rehabilitation Center is a beautiful one-level facility in Superior, Wisconsin with 24-hour skilled nursing care. With a five-star rating by Medicare, you can expect high-quality care. We offer a variety of services, including restorative care after a hospital stay, intensive rehabilitative therapy care after surgery, or long-term care for those who are no longer able to handle the necessities of daily life on their own. To learn more, call or visit Villa Marina Health Center in Superior. Join Black Bear Casino Resort Saturdays in October for cash, thrills, and chills. From 6 to 9 p.m., three players will be selected each hour for your chance to pick a cash envelope plus a multiplier envelope for your shot at up to $4,500 in cash. That's 12 winners each Saturday in October. Earn entry starting Sunday, September 26th. And for more information, visit BlackBearCasinoResort.com. Make the bear your place for cash, thrills, and chills. Injured? Call Stockman Law Office. Automobile collision injuries involving taxis, Ubers, lifts, buses, semis, and motorcycles. Call anytime, 218-576-8599. No recovery, no fee. Stockman Law Office. Serious injuries, serious law. I decided to attend Lucuda Rail Jibwe College because it really dawned on me how much it felt like a family and how much it felt like home, and I had a hard time seeing myself anywhere else. I'm Dr. Yin Dong. I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist at St. Luke's. I'm basically the electrician of the heart. Anything to do with the heart signaling system, if your heart's going too fast, too slow, irregular, that's what I deal with. Especially within electrophysiology, there are so many amazing treatments, so much that we can offer patients to improve their quality of life and to save their lives. Seeing patients improve just makes everything so worthwhile. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's some footage from Congdon Park on this cloudy day fit for spooky season. Peter will be in with today's full forecast, but first... Let's take a look around the region. The city of Washburn is showing Halloween is their specialty, and an Iron Range church is bringing the community together for a good old-fashioned holiday staple. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. We start off tonight in Saginaw, Minnesota, for the 8th annual Alex and Zachary Tackett Haunted Forest. This weekend is your last chance to check out the pride of Saginaw and give yourself a good scare on Halloween weekend. Guests will board a haunted hayride that will drop them off at a spooky trail. There will also be a blackout event for kids 13 and older on Saturday and a trick-or-treat on Sunday for kids 12 and under. All proceeds from the haunted forest will be given to charity. Next, we head to Washburn, Wisconsin for the spookiest tradition on the Shawamigan Bay. Washburn Zombie Days is back for another jam-packed weekend on, in the name of Halloween. This year, Mount Ashwell Bay is hosting its inaugural Haunted Trail. For those looking to get competitive, we've got good news for you, too. There will be a costume contest during the parade on Saturday, with awards being given to the best boy costume, girl costume, dog costume, and family costume. Saturday will also feature a judged pumpkin carving contest. And we wrap up tonight in Hibbing, Minnesota, where a local church is throwing a trunk and treat celebration. Head to the Hibbing Alliance Church on Saturday afternoon to try your hand at all the games they've got in store. The games include bucket ball, bags, ring toss, pumpkin pong, and many more. The event includes two different movie showings inside the church where guests will be treated with popcorn and a gift bag. Everything included in Hibbing's trunk and treat event is absolutely free. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, Marshall School is launching a new outdoors-based learning program. We'll bring you those details in a few minutes. And we're going to need the umbrella just for a few more hours through the night tonight and maybe the first part of the morning tomorrow. But by the end of the seven-day forecast, you're probably going to want to break out that winter jacket. We'll take a closer look at the excellent forecast here in just a bit. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. 
It's back. Our popular burger, fries, and pie combo returns. Enjoy any of our mouth-watering burgers with fries and any slice of our famous pies for a limited time. And enjoy a sweet treat from our bakery. Dine in or order online at PerkinsToGo.com. Jim Pro Construction has been awarded the title of Authorized Replacement Contractor by the Marvin Window and Door Company. This entitles us to give better pricing and longer warranties on Marvin's high-quality windows and doors. We are the only authorized replacement contractor in the Northland. This caps off our 49 years of being your professional, dependable, and honest home improvement contractor. Please call us for any of your home improvement needs. At Super One Foods, you'll find more than just low prices and better choices. You'll find friendly faces like ours, working hard to save you money. Super One has a tireless commitment to quality and freshness and a goal of delivering five-star service to every customer to bring the absolute best value to your shopping experience. Check out these specials available at all Super One locations going on now. So stop into the Super One Foods right in your neighborhood. Super One Foods, serving you with low prices and better choices. The new project hoping to bring affordable and stable housing to Duluth. As Costco opens its stores to Duluth for the first time, what impact could it have on local business? Tonight at 6 on CBS 3. Get your news on the go. The CBS 3 mobile app. And welcome back. Definitely a very kind of wet few days that we've seen across the region. We have showers even through to last night and then, of course, through the day today as well. Most of that rain has been centered from the Twin Ports Points West and taking a look at some of those rain tolls that clearly is reflected there as well. Places like Brainerd, Aiken, Grand Rapids, up towards International Falls as well, all coming in over half an inch of rain. And then points east towards the Twin Ports, really not seeing nearly as much rain, just up to a tenth in some places. For us so far, and for Duluth for today today, we have just picked up just two one hundredths of an inch of rain. And, and for the date, for excuse me, for this so far this month, just shy of two inches of rain, just by a tenth of an inch there. And we are still dealing with a little bit of a drought, even in, come, even in this fall like period right now, because you can see most of us still in severe drought. Still some areas of extreme drought, though, where you see that red color up towards Lake and Cook County, then also out west towards International Falls there as well. But the good news is we have definitely seen a lot of improvements in our drought conditions. Currently for us here in Duluth, we are looking at 50 degrees right now with those mostly cloudy skies overhead. Probably a good shot that we'll see some more rain before the day is over. And satellite radar shows that there is a good amount of rain still off to the west of the Twin Ports. And that's going to probably begin to wobble its way east as we head through the rest of the night tonight into the early morning portions of the day tomorrow. So let's time it all out for you right now. As you can see, 5 o'clock, you can see all that rain off to our west as well as a little bit of rain towards northwest Wisconsin as well as the UP of Michigan, they too have really been missing out on this rain. So through the night tonight, probably seeing a little bit of rain wobble its way east through the Twin Ports up towards the Arrowhead region. And also you can still see that rain for northwest Wisconsin as well as the Arrowhead region. And this is kind of the first rain they're really beginning to see from this system. But it's not long lived, that's for sure. By tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., I think most of us are waking up with mostly cloudy skies, especially on the Minnesota side of things. Maybe still a stray shower for the Arrowhead region as well as the UP of Michigan there, but I think most are dry for today tomorrow as well. I think even heading in towards tomorrow afternoon, we see some nice gradual clearing there. And that lasts right through the day on Saturday as well. But as we head towards Saturday evening, we begin to see a little bit of a quick rain shower activity fireworks work its way through and maybe actually entering as a few flurries across the region, especially the northern half of our region towards the international border there. I suspect the rest of us 
probably looking at just some kind of cool rain. How much rain are we still looking at? Probably additional tenth of an inch for us in Minnesota. Northwest Wisconsin as well as UP of Michigan, maybe up to four tenths of an inch. I think that is probably just a little too high. I'd say probably the best bet is up to a third. Forecast for tonight, drying things out slowly. Temperatures falling back into the upper 20s as well as lower 30s. Same thing for northwest Wisconsin, 30s prevailing down there as well. Highs for tomorrow climbing into the 50s. We'll slowly beginning to dry things out from west to east. 50s prevailing in northwest Wisconsin as well as up here in Minnesota. Some more 40s up here. And then the seven-day forecast shows that we are drying things out quite nicely. But then after that, we really take a nosedive in the temperature department. Take a look at by Monday, we're at 40s. But after that, we're in the 30s and the mid-30s by the end, end of that seven-day forecast there. So yeah. that is actually 10 degrees below average or so. So. Oof. We're getting into the winter swing of things here, I guess. Do you have a Halloween costume, Peter? I do not. No, I was going to say, if you do, I hope it's nice and warm. Uh, I'm working on Sunday, so. Oh, you'll be at work. Yeah. Well, make sure to turn it on Sunday then, yeah. folks. Peter will be here on Halloween. Yeah, maybe right. I'll be dressed as a rain shower or something. <laughs> I hope you are. Thanks, okay. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Becoming one with nature, that is how a local school is teaching its youth. Marshall School in Duluth is starting a new program called the Forest School. Children as young as four years old and up to fourth grade can participate in a nature-based learning environment. The goal is to teach kids future life skills. Head of Marshall School, Jamie Steckert, says research shows nature-based learning helps build a solid foundation for kids' future success. The Forest School takes the best brain-based research that has been coming online since the last 10 years of incorporating brain-based learning with kids in the outdoors, and then it promotes uh, social-emotional learning, creative thinking, uh, complex problem-solving, and we're really excited to offer that extension to the Marshall community. About 40% of educational time will be spent outdoors across the 40 acres behind the school. The program is expected to open by the fall of next year. A local food shelf is asking for your help feeding those in need. The Second Harvest Food Bank in Duluth is launching a new program called Fresh Connect. It requires volunteers to pick up donated food from local grocery stores, retailers, or restaurants, and then deliver it to the food bank or other local food shelves. Second Harvest is looking for 10 to 12 volunteers for each day of the week. The food bank believes the new program will result in thousands of meals each month. It's that time of the show where we get to talk about adoptable pets. And today's pet comes to us from Range Regional Animal Rescue in Hibbing. This is Maya. She is a two and a half year old domestic short hair dilute tortoise shell cat. Our friends at Range Regional tell us she's not your average cat that will lounge around all day. But she is a sweet, loving girl once she gets comfortable with you. If you'd like to set up an appointment to adopt her, you can call the number on your screen. Still to come, we'll tell you about the economic impact the new Costco will have here in Duluth. Mom, I'm here. Mom, where are you? Hello. Mom? Without emergency protection, you risk your life. But with Life Alert, one press of a button can get you help fast. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-458-9565. That's 1-800-458-9565. Call now, 1-800-458-9565. For a free brochure, call 1-800-458-9565. Northwest Outlet is number one when it comes to kids' winter clothing from the North Face and Columbia. Shopping Northwest Outlet for kids is a pleasure because they carry everything to keep them warm and dry in sizes infant to extra large for you. Jackets, winter coats, snow pants, bibs, mitts, gloves, hats, and smart wool socks, and winter boots from Kamek and Baffin and more. So keep the kids warm and dry this winter with the best from the North Face and Columbia. Shop Northwest Outlet, the children's winter clothing store. 1814 Belknap Superior, the store that saves you more. UCARE is out decomplicating health plans all over the state. We're proud to be in Embarrass, bringing family plans to fertile. Aww. Helping folks rest easy and sleepy eye. And smart advice to Nimrod D. Yes. Is that even a word? We make plans clear and crystal. And we've been a staple here since 1984. With over 40,000 doctors, specialists, and providers in our networks, we're getting more welcomes every day. UCARE, people-powered health plans.
When one door closes, another opens. Open the door to memories ready to be unpacked. Kick off the next great adventure. Open the door to new possibilities. Superior Choice Credit Union. This is our currency. What if Georgie moves into the garage and I take Georgie's room? But we've always shared a room. It does make sense. I'm a young lady now. I have a training bra. When you complete your training, get back to me. Oh, I'm happy. You might want to check in on Shelby. You okay? He was smiling. Smiling how? Oh, boy. A new young Sheldon. Tonight at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. It's the haunting story of Sleepy Hollow and the mystery of the famous Headless Horseman. Come let the Minnesota Ballet sweep you into the spooky tale about Ichabod Crane and his unforgettable adventures in the sleepy town of Terrytown. Treat the whole family to the legend of Sleepy Hollow, October 29th through Halloween at UMD's Marshall Performing Arts Center. Call us for tickets or visit minnesotaballet.org. We thank our season sponsor, Essentia Health, with additional support from CBS3. School visits are an important part of kind of being a part of the community outside of the TV station here. When I was in sixth grade, that's when I learned meteorology was it for me. Being on the other side of that now, for me being able to kind of pursue that, it's important for me to then be able to get back into the community. If I can go into a classroom and get just one person who was interested or just one person who, you know, leaves there knowing like, wow, I learned something new today. For me, I did my job and that means a lot to me. Watch meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt weekdays at 5 a.m. Get your news on the go, the CBS3 mobile app. A new retail giant opened its doors in Duluth today. This morning, hundreds of people flocked to Duluth's new Costco to roam the aisles for opening day. But despite the crowd, some individuals remain skeptical about the impact the bulk shop store could have on local business. CBS3's Quinn Gorham hears from local workforce experts on the impacts the business could bring. After years of planning, Costco is now open in Duluth, creating 220 new jobs within the wholesale retail store. The company recently increased its minimum wage to $17 an hour, and their wide variety of products and services offer competition to many other businesses in Duluth. Still, Elena Fauché with Duluth Workforce Development says she doesn't expect the arrival to negatively impact local economy. She says in addition to providing market competition, Costco is creating jobs in the community. Any employer that brings jobs to our community is a good thing. The more jobs and the more diverse types of jobs and diverse wage offerings we can offer, the better off we all are. Costco bought the property on Haines and Arrowhead Roads for two and a half million dollars back in 2020 and also spent millions of dollars building the new location. To make all of this happen, the city and county leaders voted to give Costco $2 million in tax breaks. That money also went to funding public services like roads and sewers. Thank you, Quinn. Coming up at 6, we hear from a local small business owner and hear how they feel about the new competition in the city. It's a busy news day in Washington. First, our CBS News exclusive former acting attorney general Sally Yates reveals her battle with breast cancer and why she's pleading with women to get tests they may have put off during the pandemic. That and more news as the CBS Evening News is just minutes away. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Regular mammograms can help find it early. Schedule yours today. As we finish up another baseball season, I recently finished an extensive window replacement project on my home. I worked with your home improvement company and they hit it out of the park. For your next window, door, bathroom, or roofing project, get the quality and service you deserve with the Midwest's largest full-service home improvement company company. Your home improvement company is my home improvement company and they should be yours too. Contact them today for a free estimate on your next home project. Just like gray hair, cataracts are a common side effect of aging. A cataract is the natural clouding of the lens inside the eye. At Ralph Eye Care Specialists, our board certified ophthalmologists offer cataract surgery to help you see better longer. Our team will work with you to create a pleasant surgical experience and a great surgical result. Call now to learn more about cataract surgery and to schedule a cataract evaluation at Ralph Eye Care Specialist. What 
Georgie moves into the garage, and I take Georgie's room. But we've always shared a room. It does make sense. I'm a young lady now. I have a training bra. When you complete your training, get back to me. Oh, I'm happy. You might want to check in on Shelton. He okay? He was smiling. Smiling how? Oh, boy. A new young Sheldon. Tonight at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. Brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke every Tuesday at 10. Only on live local CBS3. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back to the CBS3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Thursday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and see what's coming up at 6. Tonight at 5, we learned about a major development this morning on Capitol Hill. President Biden met with House Democrats to push a revamped Build Back Better plan that would include $1.75 trillion in spending. And tonight at 6, the city of Virginia will be getting a new fire station as their current one is not ADA compliant. The efforts from Virginia citizens included going door to door, raising money, and calling up legislators on the phone. We'll have that story at 6. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you back here at 6 o'clock.